Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Living, Loving, and Learning Together. I am Crystal, homeschooling mom of three girls, ages seven, four, and one. And today I am excited to pop on here and I just wanted to share some fun ideas that we have added to our month of December that have made the Christmas season a little extra special for our family. Just a few of our favorite Christmas things. As you can see, I have just started putting up the lights for our Christmas tree and I just thought I'd take a break and share a few ideas that maybe will bring some special additions to your December as well. So one of the first things that I wanted to share is that we like to do at least once or twice out of the month, do that thing where you get dressed up and you go out and do the Nutcracker or see the orchestra and play or sing Christmas carols together in a group setting. We really enjoy going on Christmas Eve to our church's candlelight service. Those kind of things really add to the warmth and the heart and the excitement of this whole season. And so they always bless our family just being a part of a program like that. This year, we're really excited to actually go to a Handel's Messiah with some of our CC friends that is free because it is a school that's putting it on and it's a sing-along. So we'll be able to sing along with all the Christmas songs. Um, that's something that I'm really looking forward to. But having an event where you go and you look forward to doing that. We also love to go and see the fantasy lights is what they're called here in our area, but most cities have an area where a park is completely decked out with lights and that matches to Christmas music. And so we love to do that here in our area with the family all pile in and to whoever's got the biggest car or go in a caravan setting. And it's fun for the kids to pop out of the sunroof and look around and dance and sing carols as you slowly drive through all of the lights. That in addition to just driving through the neighborhood and seeing the light. Um, the other thing that I wanted to share is that we like to put together in the very beginning of the month our very own advent calendars where the kids get to take pom-poms, glitter, sequins, whatever you've got in your craft box and I will just print out, not print out, but I'll make on poster board just a calendar size and I'll draw out the calendar for them and then they get to decorate their advent calendar. And then we fill this advent calendar with things that we get to look forward to in the month of December leading up to Christmas and the celebration of Christ's birth. And so these things consist of everything from the daily things that you are doing in the month of December, like if you're going to a Nutcracker performance, going to grandma and papa's house to help them decorate, or going to a play date, or even uh, something as simple as having a game day at home where you take out all the games, make hot chocolate, put on the music, and the kids get to look forward to just playing some fun games. Speaking of which, I am hoping to be able to add another video about some of our favorite games um, that we like to play around the house. So look forward to that if you're looking for some fun or different game ideas to mix up your stash as well. But in addition to the game day calendar, we also add on there some days where we can do some fun crafts together as a family. Things like making our own Christmas ornaments or making, uh, painting some Christmas ornaments. You can find some of these kind of crafts at Michael's, Joann's, even the dollar store sometimes has some fun ideas for things like that. But then they can be a part of something that they made and then they put it up there. One of the things that I'm really looking forward to this year is I went out and bought canvases that all three of us can be a part of creating a Christmas painting that will change for this winter season of putting up and display in our home. I got this idea from a friend of mine that I loved where she actually every season has some kind of craft that her kids have done that gets put up on the wall for display during that season either in a frame or on an easel and every season you change it out and I think that's just such a great idea because you're moving with the time the kids have something that they can be a part of creating and enjoying throughout that season and it changes as our seasons change so this will be our second time we started one 
and spring. We didn't do it for, for summer, but we'll do it for winter this year. And so I'm really looking forward to doing that with the kids. This other thing that we put on our advent calendar is a day where we bake cookies and then another day where we go out and we actually get to package those cookies up and let the kids be a part of that process where they're picking ribbons and they're picking uh, wrapping and the plates that go on it. And then we go out on another day and knock on our neighbor's doors and sing a quick Christmas carol. We wish you a Merry Christmas and deliver cookies to our neighbors. That is just a great way for the kids to experience that giving, loving heart of Christmas and this season, uh, bringing blessing to other people. And it is so exciting and just fun in general. It's a little out of our, your comfort zone to go and knock on somebody's door and start singing, but there's something about that that is really special and that it, it's putting me outside of my normal box, but it's also a way that can bless someone else. And so we have had fun doing that in years past and look forward to doing it this year as well. So that's some of the fun stuff that we put on our Christmas Advent calendar. So I'm just letting the kids be a part of making that calendar and then filling it in with things that the family gets to look forward to in the month of December as we have time off from our regular busy lives. Don't wanna fill it out too much, but be particular and intentional about putting specific things on there that will be meaningful to the month of Christmas. I also put on there on the days what portion of scripture you're reading for Advent. If that's something that you and your family does, you can put that on the calendar so that they know what they're looking forward to. And those are just some fun ways to make the holiday season meaningful and to have their focus be on what is coming, just to add some excitement. I've also seen Christmas calendars that are created on places like Pinterest or different areas where they already have some fun ideas filled in to all the days of December that would be fun ideas for making Christmas special. And I will link one of those on here as well, just as ideas that you may or may not want to include in your Christmas. Some other fun things along those lines that we like to do, speaking of, just fun things to look forward to is the kids have a fun little advent calendar. They love to pick these out. We often go to a local store, Trader Joe's, who has fun Christmas things like this. They even have ones for pets. I've seen some, not at Trader Joe's, yeah, I've seen some that are like more around cosmetics and perfumes and things like that. But the idea is that you open one little box per day and you get a treat out of there um, as a fun little trinket and leading up to Christmas day. And so this one is for is chocolates and we got one of these for each of the girls. And then we love these little um, dipped chocolate, hot chocolate sticks with marshmallows that you can just put into hot milk or hot water and have a fun hot chocolate, easy to go. We like to give these as gifts too, to other kiddos um, for different things. They're just fun to have. Trader Joe's has them. I've seen them at other stores too, but just a few of our fun things that we look forward to at Christmas time. One of the other things that I wanted to share in this video is how it's also important to me as a mom, which I'm sure to you as well, that our kids are growing not with a sense of entitlement, but a sense of blessing, but also the learning of we are blessed to be a blessing to others. And so one of the things that I do look forward to at Christmas time is finding your local giving tree that you can take them to and pull off a tag where you can select an age of a child that you pick on your tag and then purchase a gift for that child. You don't know who it's gonna be, they don't know who it's gonna be, but they know that it's going to a family that it will bless who needs help with getting gifts in this season. And if you're able, do more than one. Uh, we like to do at least one for each of our kiddos to be able to go and pick that present themselves. And then they know that they were a part of giving that to a family who needed it. And so that's just one way that I think is a very tangible way to bring the heart of giving, the heart of selflessness, the heart of Jesus and blessing others to our children uh, at a level where they can understand it very tangibly and very personal. Also fun, of course, to decorate and make our homes inviting and warm and a place that people want to be that brings meaning and life to your family and those who you will welcome into your home. I love to add special Christmas calendars 
that have uh, life-giving verses and pictures and uh, different things around the home. Light those candles, play the music, have lots of yummy food. These are all the things that we love about Christmas. But along with those things, what's been on my heart is a way to make room for what matters. That has kind of been a theme this year. And so, or this season, I should say. And one of the ways that I'm hoping to do that in this Christmas season is that we are going to be doing a Christmas read aloud. This is Jotham's Journey, a storybook for Advent. And this is actually a book that my mother-in-law passed on to us that she was able to read with my nieces and nephews over the years coming up. And now our girls are at an age where we get to share this with them. But it is an Advent story that you read a portion of the story. It's like four to seven pages per night from now through Christmas. And it's a journey that you go on with this boy, Jotham. He has been separated from his family and is now on this pursuit to find him. But there, it is intense. It's exciting. There are some hard times. There are good times. And we're really looking forward to going through the journey that really correlates with our walk with Christ as he has come to us and our paths may go in different ways, but our journey is to pursue Christ and to walk with him. And I have here in the background our Advent wreath and this Jotham's journey actually takes you through that process to where you can make it intentional. So you light one candle every night as you read the story and uh, each of the candles have meaning. So there's three purple candles and they represent penitence. And then you have the one pink candle that is, let's see if I can, you have the one pink candle that represents joy and then the white candle in the middle, which represents the purity of Christ. And so we take turns and we let each of the girls have a turn each night or one per night to light the candle and then whoever doesn't light it gets to blow it out when we're all done. But the candle is lit while we sit around the wreath and here in the living room and uh, just read that portion of story for the day and take time to process the story and think through however God leads us in pursuing him in this season. That's what we want to be intentional about this Christmas season is the fact that Christ came for us and how we can live for him and walk in those blessings and walk in his love. And uh, this is a great way to be intentional about that as a family. Along those lines, we're also looking forward to, well, I'm also looking forward to this devotional that my mother-in-law gave me. It's Prepare Him Room by Susie Larson and it takes you through devotions one per day starting at the beginning of December through the 25th and you read a few pages but then at the end of each devotion she has an area where you have uh, prayer and then you also have be a certain reference to look up or things that she might suggest to fast not always food usually it's like today fast from shallow commercialized holiday I saw some in here where you're fasting from just the feeling of busyness or different things that she has um, felt led in her heart to share as a way to make room for Christ in this season. So I'm really looking forward to that. As mamas, it's so important for us to fill our cups because we give from what we have inside of our cups. And so I want our cup to be overflowing so that we are blessed to be a blessing. So I encourage you mamas to find a way in this season to fill your spiritual cup, fill your heart, fill your mind and soul with the things that you need to be overflowing in this season. Uh, if there's areas where there's hurt or areas where maybe we just need some time to think through and process, uh, make the time to do that in this season so that we can make room for what matters most, which is Christ in us, who is our everything, who fills us up with living water to be able to share that with our family, our community, our children, and those around us, our friends, um, who also need to have their cups filled and uh, we can be a part of that. So I hope this video leaves you with some fun ideas and tips to bless your Christmas season and that you and your family are blessed into Christmas and New Year's. And I'd love to hear some of the ways that you make Christmas meaningful in your home. So please 
add comments below and share what are some of those things that are favorites for your family and maybe some of those things that just add depth to your Christmas season. I would love to hear more of those ideas as well. So please, please share your thoughts below. I'll look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now.